Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. If you didn't know, on the 20th of March, it was Hufflepuff Pride Day. Now, I don't know who created these Hogwarts House Pride Days, but I have seen that Jackie Rowling has previously tweeted on, I believe it was Slytherin House Pride Day. So at least the concept of them she's happy with. So I was gonna celebrate Hufflepuff Pride Day this year. So of course I'm a proud Hufflepuff, if you didn't already guess, and I really wanted to show my House Pride definitely on that day, but it's not just about celebrating on that one day. How can we do it every day if we so want to? And I'm hoping Hufflepuffs watching this will want to do that too. On the actual day, I showcased all the Hufflepuff scarves that I did own, and it was actually a little bit of a throwback to a previous video that I did showcasing all those scarves. I'll link it somewhere if you want to watch that. But it got me thinking, how much Hufflepuff stuff do I actually own? And it turns out it's quite a bit. <laughs> so the first thing you would have seen is this Hufflepuff tote bag, which actually is from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child's Play. And the colors aren't like yellow and black or that kind of coloring. It's they're more of like a honey yellow and then more of like a, 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 a brown rather than a dark black. Very recently, when it was Harry Potter book night, Bloomsbury Publishing very kindly gifted me a few items and because I'd mentioned I was in Huff Puff House, they were all Huff Puff House centric. One of the books was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which I currently lent to my mum, which I made do the Pottermore Sorting House and it turns out she's also in Huff Puff. So I was like, this is a perfect book. You've got to read it. And can you believe I've not managed to get my mum to read this book, but I'm trying. I got the audio book. I thought I'd lend her a Huff Puff book. I'm trying all I can do. I'm nagging every day as well. So eventually I'll get it through and she'll read them all, but that, that book is with her at the moment. Second book is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And that's also in the House Pride edition for Hufflepuff. And it's got the yellow and it's very pretty. And it also came with an amazing, well, I think a leather effect bookmark. So you may have noticed in all my videos that I do have a Horcrux collection, which is over here. And as part of that collection, I do own the Hufflepuff Cup, which is a wonderful addition to my collection, and it's by Noble Collection. But don't worry, I do keep it safe in that enchanted box over there. A little while ago, I was also gifted this little Hufflepuff notebook, which I do actually use, and it's got little notes and all the things that I want to use in there, but I'll show you towards the back. It's got the, the design in that. And then also very recently, I was gifted by Chavia, this amazing Hogwarts School and Witchcraft Wizardry book by Mean Lima, and this is in the style that they do for, or Mean Lima did for Crimes of Grindelwald. Now onto the wearables to show your Hufflepuff pride every day. And as you can see, I'm wearing this Quidditch jumper. Now this is not by Lockhaven. Lockhaven did the original jumpers that were featured in the film and you can buy them. They're a little bit more expensive. And recently Primark did a range of these ones and they were, I believe, in acrylic. And when I saw them, they were very inexpensive, and it was just while I was passing through, I was like, I absolutely have to buy this. I have featured this item before, and you may have seen it in my other videos, and it is this Hogwarts hat that is the Hufflepuff hat, because it's got a beautifully embroidered badger on the front, and it's obviously blank on the back, so you can wear it front or back to showcase your Hufflepuff pride in school. These are the other Hufflepuff wearables that I do own. This is a t-shirt from... Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and it has that Cursed Child emblem on there. Obviously you can wear these big blaze and Harry Potter things and that's great, but sometimes you want to be a little bit more low-key Harry Potter fan, and these, these are great for that. So this is a grey t-shirt and that's got the Hufflepuff emblem in as well. I wear these very regularly, and they're still in very good condition. And then Cine Replicas also do this amazing Cedric Diggory Tribe of the Tournament t-shirt, it's got the Hogwarts emblem on the front, it does have Diggory on the back, and I've worn this, you may have seen, to the Warner Bros. Studio Tour, Making of Harry Potter. Now, if you want to show your Huff Puff pride in more of a school uniform-based way, then I would really recommend getting the school uniform Hogwarts robes from the Warner Bros. Studio Tour, Making of Harry Potter. That's where I got all of mine from, and I got this tie from there, which is the In the House Colours. I did also get, this is one of the original Lockhaven jumpers, 
I believe it's made, it's actually made in Scotland and it is wool and it's got the colours that match perfectly. It is a wonderfully soft jumper and I only recently, very, very recently got this because it's quite expensive but I'd really recommend getting this because it is really amazing and it's exactly like the film so if you like screen accurate stuff then oh that's what I'd go for. And then behind that, let's take that off there, are the actual robes that I did buy again from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour making Harry Potter you can see there. The first half of scarf that I ever did purchase was from Universal Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And it's this half puff scarf, very bright, very eye catching, and you can actually buy matching gloves that go with that. And it's got this emblem, reminds me quite of Quidditch. The next one I purchased was from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Making of Harry Potter, and it's probably this more screen accurate version, which is more of like a mustardy yellow, and that's really cool, goes really well with my robes. When I finally managed to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, mustardy honey coloured yellow and a brown rather than a black, and that's really cool. It's a very thin scarf, but of course there was a half puff scarf there, so I was going to purchase that immediately. Next, when Fantastic Beasts came out, Cine Replicas launched a vintage style half puff scarf, and it's in the style of like it's like faded black, and it's really cool. It's got Newt's logo on as well, and I wore that for quite some time, so I was very pleased about that one. Then, when I visited the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Make Harry Potter again, they also launched a vintage scarf, and this one is actually by Lockhaven, and I believe Lockhaven make, made it for the films, so this is probably the more screen accurate nude one that he wears, and it's this one that I absolutely adore. Lockhaven make amazing, amazing stuff. I do have the pleasure of owning the vintage style Hogwarts robes as seen in Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald on Young Newt, and I believe it's from Elop, and when I got it, I was very excited, And but after watching the film again, I did notice there were slight inaccuracies with the costume, so of course me being me and over the top, I actually had them adjusted slightly, so they were a little bit more screen accurate, so I was really excited to debut this. And this is the robes, you may have seen it in another video of mine, but basically the difference is, is that the yellow, from what I saw, is actually only at the top, which as it comes in, but I had added this like black velvet piping that goes right around the edge and you see that in the film and so that it, it cuts off there and then I also had it lined with the blue because actually inside this is blue and I had some extra pockets put in as well as a one pocket um, so that's like more lined so the outer side is still got that really cool sleeve which you can see and it's got the really cool um, emblem the half off emblem on there as well and I just cannot wait for Lockhaven to bring out the jumpers that they made that go with this because you know as soon as they bring it out I will be getting my hands on that and living my young newt life in these vintage robes so oh my goodness I can't wait for that but in the meantime I do have the robes ready to go. But right with all that stuff I really hope that you'll be prepared for the next Half Puff Pride Day which again is the 20th of March um, but not only that if you're wanting to sport your Half Puff Pride every day, which is basically what I'm looking to do. You can do with all these little things of every day, like notebooks and scarves and clothes, subtly or not so subtly, if you really want to stick out and show your pride, then you can certainly do that. That's it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning about all that half puff stuff that I own. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. What was your favorite item? What item should I get as well? Are there any items you're considering getting? Because I can advise you on those as well because I love Hufflepuff stuff and obviously I'm very proud of Hufflepuff so hell, I can help you out. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more of the same Wizarding World content. You can do that by clicking on the button below this video and then you can check out some of my other Wizarding World videos. And as some of you know by now, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.